Hello, my name is Masako E. I'm a program director of Asian Public Policy Program, APPP, at Hitotsubashi University in Tokyo, Japan. APP is two years program, and each year about 15 to 20 students enter the program, including one or two Japanese students. Most of them are government officials. We have two campuses, Chiyoda campus, which is a few minutes from the Imperial Palace. Main campus is Kunitachi campus, about one hour from Chiyoda campus. One of the most beautiful campuses located in Tokyo. Most students live in the dormitory near the Kunitachi campus. This is a campus with cherry blossoms in spring. I like to explain about Hitotsubashi University. It was founded in 1875 as a national university for social sciences. We are going to celebrate the 150th anniversary in two years. We have five faculties and eight graduate schools. Our program belongs to School of International and Public Policy. School of International and Public Policy was established in 2005. Asian Public Policy is one of four programs. We have required courses, elective courses, workshop on current topics, and intensive courses. Intensive courses are provided by overseas professors, such as from Harvard University Kennedy School, National University of Singapore Lee Kuan Yew School of Public Policy, and Columbia University. Intensive courses are also provided by former Deputy Governor of Central Bank of Thailand and faculty member from Bank Indonesia Institute. You can experience the world's highest level of public policy education. We also provide English thesis writing tutorials. Our program, APP, is small, yet a cozy program. All the students see professors and classmates at the seminar every week. We know each other very well. Four full-time faculty members teach at APPP. Faculty members used to be government officials, such as Minister of Finance, Cabinet Office, and Bank of Japan. All of us experienced working at IMF, World Bank, Bank for International Settlement, BIS, BIS, or other international organizations. One of the faculty was the first managing director of AMLO in Singapore, Asian version of IMF. Another big feature of our program is that quite a few graduates go on to the PhD program. All of our faculty are also members of Graduate School of Economics Department. APP students are welcome to take any courses offered by Economics Department or even other programs if schedules allows. Most of those PhD students work as a TA for a program, so students can learn about PhD program through current PhD students. Our program has a history of more than 20 years, and some of our graduates are now directors of the Ministry of Finance, central banks, high-ranking officials at international organizations, and universities in their home countries. The Asian network is as useful as studying economics. This table shows the distribution of the students by country or region. Background of students are mostly Central Bank, Minister of Finance, Minister of Planning, 
Statistics Bureau, some are from academics. Thank you for listening. I hope to meet you near future. Konnichiwa. My name is Oscar Salvador. I'm from the Philippines. I'm currently a second year graduate student of the Asian Public Policy Program of the Hitotsubashi University. Uh, in my first year, I studied a series of core specialized and elective courses. Uh, these courses have allowed me to develop a strong foundation on economic theory and improve my quantitative and analytical skills, both of which are necessary in uh, making, in writing, and defending my master's thesis in the second year. As a public servant working for the Philippine government and an aspiring policymaker in the future, I chose to pursue a Master's of Public Policy through the Asian Public Policy Program of Hitotsubashi University because it puts strong emphasis on economics, which aligns with my undergraduate degree, and its practical approach in designing and evaluating policy alternatives to real-world policy problems. In addition, Hitotsubashi University is one of the top universities in Japan in the field of social sciences. What's more is that the university boasts a rich history of producing leaders and policy makers who have played and are still playing a significant role in policy making here in Japan. So one of these influential leaders who is an esteemed alumnus of the university is His Excellency Kazuhiko Koshikawa, who is the current Japanese ambassador to the Philippines. Uh, during the send of party, uh, the Japanese embassy organized for us Filipino scholars, His Excellency Koshikawa congratulated me, shared some encouraging words, and told me that my life here in the university would be filled with academic growth, uh, friendship, and unforgettable experiences. Uh, what I appreciate about the Asian Public Policy Program is that everyone tries to learn from each other. It's definitely a learning community where everyone shares their own experiences and best practices from their respective countries. I might have someone next to me who works for the central bank of a Central Asian country and someone who works in the Ministry of Finance of an ASEAN country. Now this di diversity allows us to uh, bring different perspectives to the table, assess them, and come up with uh, effective policy solutions. Uh, this year, the Asian Public Policy Program is proud to host young professionals from 12 Asian countries, all of whom bringing a diverse range of experiences. This program allowed me and my classmates to benefit from that diverse expertise and to listen and learn from one another. Hopefully, this relationship of ours will continue over the course of our careers and of our lives. One of the difficulties I immediately face as an international student here in Japan is, of course, language barrier. When I first arrived, language barrier was very daunting. Navigating in a predominantly Japanese environment was very challenging, especially in the first few weeks, such as uh, registering myself in the local municipal hall and opening up a bank account which requires a lot of paperwork. Uh, despite these initial hardships, my experience proved to be very rewarding. I was able to travel around Japan and immerse myself in its rich culture during study breaks. Uh, 
Uh, the Asian Public Policy Program welcomes everyone from all backgrounds. And if you have the will and determination to study at Hitotsubashi University, then there are countless opportunities waiting for you and all you have to do is to apply.